Hey guys, it's Lisa. So today I'm at Disneyland and my main goal for today, well, it's food. It's usually food. Actually, no, I take it back. Sometimes it's merch, but today it's gonna be food. I really wanna go around and try as many tasty Disney treats as I can and I'm not gonna be picky. It can be Halloween food, seasonal food, just regular old Disney food, but I wanna have nice little Disney treats and then also maybe look at some merch and maybe go on a ride or hmm, maybe just walk around, enjoy the Disney experience. But yes, come along with me. Let's hang out and let's have a nice little Disney day. This is something I don't see every day. Look, it says no reservations available. See a cast member for details. I mean, I'm pretty sure the cast member is just gonna tell you there's no reservations, <laughs> but I have not seen that as of late. Ooh, I think the monorail is gonna come by right now. Let's see. There it is. Hi, monorail. Check this out, barely any lines. In fact, the Esplanade feels a little bit empty. I'm here just about at noon, so it should be a little bit busier, but this is amazing. Look, no lines over here either. Okay, let's cross our fingers. Maybe it's gonna be a low crowd kind of day. Yay, look, we're here. Isn't this exciting? And actually it is a little bit exciting because when I went to go scan my ticket at the entrance, she was like, you don't have a reservation. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> and I had a little bit of anxiety and then she was like, let me try and scan it again. And then it went through and I was like, okay, thank you. Because yeah, today is one of the only days where I've ever seen the little sandwich board that says no reservations available. It would have been bad news. Sometimes when I come to Disneyland, I have to pinch myself because it's just, it feels so nice to be here. Like, I just feel really grateful to be here. And look, we have the castle, we have a perfectly blue sky, we have the Matterhorn, and we have Halloween decorations. I don't know, this is definitely a pinch myself moment. I am having so much fun and I've honestly just walked, you know, just straight up Main Street. I haven't even gotten far into the day. Oh boy, it is a warm day today. It is a very warm day today, in fact, and I think we're gonna have to find some shade coverage at some point in the day, but I'm walking to Galaxy's Edge right now because I'm gonna get a little snack and then also a coffee. The, more importantly, I'm gonna get a coffee because there's a new one that I haven't tried yet and everybody keeps saying how amazing it is, so obviously I wanna try it. But listen, can you hear the magical Star Wars Galaxy's Edge sounds? I love it. Everything is amazing here, and look, Galaxy's Edge. Okay, let's go get this coffee. <laughs> Bounty Hunter game construction. It's been going on for so long and I'm so excited to play this. I really want to play it when it happens. And the only thing I'm wondering is, do you need a magic band in order to play the Bounty Hunter game? Because if you do and you're not able to just play with the, you know, with the Play Disney app, I'll be a little sad. But Disney, you got me, I'll end up buying it. I came to one of my favorite places to get food, which is Docking Bay 7 here at Galaxy's Edge. And the chicken salad they have is phenomenal. But this time around, I knew I wanted to try a lot of different things. So I ended up getting the kids meal. I love getting the kids meals at Disney because they also give you like a drink. So I got a tiny little water. You could also get like soda and stuff like that. But anyway, I got the Endorian fried tippy up and I'm a little sad because it used to come in the shape of like a square, like a little square nugget. And now they don't make it that way. They should make it like a regular chicken strip which just makes me sad you know I want to come to Galaxy's Edge to eat weird Star Wars food so a regular fried chicken strip is not the same but it does taste really really good so they season it very well it's nice and crispy the chicken is super juicy and then the kids one comes with macaroni and cheese and veggies although the veggies are so good that I wish that it was only veggies and then the adult one comes with mashed potatoes or I think you can sub it with something else I'll look it up but anyway that was incredible and I also got the coffee so this is the cold brew of black calf with taro topper and it's so good oh my gosh okay I don't know if I like this one or the one with cocoa puffs more but I'm airing on the side of this one the only thing is do not make the same mistake I did which is let it sit for a while like I had my food and then I started drinking this and there's ice in it so it got so watery at the top which is just not as fun I wish there was no ice but the topper is so good it's definitely a nice light purple color which I mean yeah weird food I'm into and then it's nice and creamy and it's like the cream cheese foam is like very sweet it tastes really good so I definitely recommend this I definitely recommend the tippy up and honestly any of the food here at like Docking Bay 7 is really really good I love Galaxy's Edge honestly I could sit right here and just enjoy myself for the entire afternoon I love the sights I love the sounds like I love all the ambient sounds the music Music and everything like I like that you can just hear ships flying around it's kind of awesome but the other thing I was gonna tell you okay so um, this is kind of gross I don't mean to like show you my finished drink but 
this was so incredible. I actually like this coffee more than the Cocoa Puff one. The one like, I think it's half calf cold brew is what it's called. But honestly, I like this one more. The reason why it was a little bit sweeter, that foam on top was delicious. It was so creamy and I loved it. So yeah, if you like something a little bit sweeter, I would recommend this one. And yes, now I'm sorry, it's kind of gross that I'm showing you my like finished glass. <laughs> I can't come to Galaxy's Edge without saying hello to the gonk. <laughs> hello, gonk. Mm, he doesn't feel like gonking back at me, but that's okay. I'll see you later. <gasps> Yay! Okay. <laughs> that made me very happy. <laughs> we heard the gonk gonk, and now you know, our Galaxy's Edge day is complete. Well, I could have honestly stayed there for so much longer, but we have other things to do. We have food to get, which also, by the way, I feel like I'm really bad about getting food. Like I say, oh, today's gonna be all about the food, and then I only get like three or four things. So I'll try my best. We'll see how it goes. I'm, you know, it's kind of hot today. I'm not eating as much as I usually do. Whenever I pass by Big Thunder over here, I always kind of wait for one of the train cars to come by. Let's see. Is one going to come by anytime soon? Are we going to be waiting here for a long time? Maybe. But it is really nice. Look how refreshing the water is. So nice and green. Oh, I think I can hear it. Yay! Okay, now we can keep going. It's definitely the hottest part of the day right now, so I decided to get myself a little snack, a little refreshment. So I went to the mint julep bar and I got, well, okay. <laughs> I'm showing you my like gross empty cup, but I ended up getting the seasonal specialty for the mint julep. So this is the hibiscus mint julep and it has a really delicious flavor. So it's a little bit more tart than a regular mint julep. The regular mint julep is pretty sweet. And then this one has a little bit of tartness, but it's also still a little bit fruity and it gives it like a nice juicy flavor. Overall, I love this. I think the mint juleps are so refreshing refreshing so I love this one and then the other thing I got so I ended up getting these seasonal beignets and right now for Halloween time they have the pumpkin spice beignets and yes they are Mickey shaped so of course they taste just a little bit better because of that and they also come with get this this is the best part they come with a caramel coffee dipping sauce and it was incredible so the coffee flavor was not like bitter but like cut the sweetness so it wasn't like just sugar on top of sugar but I love the caramel flavor the caramel and the coffee mixed together incredible and then the pumpkin spice so you really did taste the pumpkin spice so all around it was delicious yes the dipping sauce just gave it a little bit more depth of flavor and it was sweet but also not too sweet all around incredible and you cannot go wrong with beignets here i mean i know some people hate on them because they do kind of have like a hole in the middle but i still love them and i mean they're mickey shape we love that Oh, I should introduce you to the little hermit hole that I've been in for the past 20 minutes. So look, there's the train, it's going right over there. And then I'm right behind the Haunted Mansion. So you can hear the tinkly music box sounds coming from Haunted Mansion Holiday. Honestly, that's one of my favorite parts about Haunted Mansion Holiday, that they bring that music out. I love it. And then if you look over this way, so look, there's like a little pathway that leads over here. It's right by where old Fast Pass used to be. So this is where Fast Pass used to be for Haunted Mansion. But anyway, yeah, I think it's really awesome if you're looking for a nice secluded spot. Although I will warn you, there are ants, so be careful. You might get bit like I do all the time. And then also sometimes the train is a little bit loud. So, you know, there's pros, there's cons, but I do love me a good hermit hole. <laughs> In Frontierland, they also have the Halloween trees. So look at this, it says, on the night of Halloween 2007, this stately oak officially became the Halloween tree. And okay, I know it's daytime, so it definitely doesn't look as cool, but here is the Halloween tree. And just imagine, you know, during nighttime, it's all lit up and you can see all of these fun jack-o'-lanterns, although they all have their faces turned away from me. Let's find one. Oh, there, look, see? They all have creepy jack-o'-lantern faces. I love this, but yeah, I'm sorry. It's like daytime, so it's not that exciting right now. <laughs> oh, that little guy is kind of fun. He's a very small one and he has kind of, you know, this gasping face. He looks a little bit scared, but I did notice the lights actually are on, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's just not as fun because it's broad daylight. So just imagine it's all lit up and it's spooky and it's orange and it's, well, it's imagine nighttime. <laughs> 
I think he's blowing me kisses. Oh, look, he's going inside of the Golden Horseshoe. Okay, well, that was gonna be my next destination. So here we are, Golden Horseshoe. I think it's a nice little time to take a break and get inside of the AC and let's see what little treats we can find. I think I chose the most wobbly table. Do you see that? I mean, I'm purposely wobbling it, so sorry about that, but okay, anyway. I ended up getting two things over at the Golden Horseshoe and I definitely was not planning on getting two, but I saw them both on the seasonal specialty list and I was like, mm, okay, I gotta get both. So the first one is vegan. It's the Impossible Chili Cheese Fries. And at first I was like, wait, I think that the cheese is just regular cheese, but no, it is in fact vegan cheese. So I myself, like I don't care to eat dairy. So whenever I can get a vegan cheese option, I love that. And then these were really good. I also love Impossible Meat, just like as a fair warning. Although so this did have beans, so if you don't care for beans, it also had corn, which was interesting. But okay, if you don't care for beans, then you probably won't like this because it definitely has like a bean flavor in it. But overall, it was very good. It definitely had like a little bit of smokiness in it, but it tasted just like regular chili, at least to me. Maybe the texture was a little bit different, but overall to me, it was so good. And the sour cream, oh my God. Okay, so sour cream is one of my favorite foods. Like, I just love it. So I love that they put a good amount of sour cream on there. They didn't really put a lot of cheese on it, but let's be honest, like vegan cheese is not ever really amazing. So it's better that way. It's better that they don't put too much because then people will be like, I don't think I like this, but overall, I would definitely recommend that. And it's it's so enough for two people, but I ate so much of it. Like I put a good size dent in it, so yeah. But overall, amazing, I would definitely recommend. And then the other thing I got, I got a cookie butter sundae. And I had to start eating this first because I was like, oh, it's gonna get so melted, even though I like when things get melted. So now that it's like super soupy, I'm gonna enjoy it even more. But they put two scoops of cookie dough ice cream and then they have cookie butter, like they drizzle it into the cup and then they put two churros. Well, they cut a churro and they, you know, snip it in half, but this was so good. And they did put a little dollop of whipped cream too. I forgot about that, but this is delicious. The cookie dough ice cream is what really pops this off. I love it. The cookie dough, the little chocolate chips, so tasty. And then the cookie butter, okay, I mean, Anything with cookie butter, I love. I could eat cookie butter out of the jar with a spoon and I would be in trouble. Like, I just love it so much. So this was so up my alley. And yeah, you could split this with somebody. I like don't recommend you eat it by yourself because this would give me a tummy ache. <laughs> but that's okay, it's so delicious. So I'm super excited. These were two unexpected hits. Very nice. You know something else I was gonna say? When I bit into the churro, it was so good. I don't know, there was something that seemed very unique about it. I actually had to look it up and see if there was maybe a different flavor, like maybe they dusted it with cookie butter flavored sugar. But no, it just says that it's a sugar dusted churro. It just felt extra special, extra crunchy, extra sugary. It was a really good churro. Can you hear the Mark Twain? I mean, I'm pretty sure you can absolutely hear the Mark Twain. It just sounds so nice. Ooh, look at this blustery day. We love a good bluster in the air. And look at Splash Mountain. Who would say that this is a bad view? This is a great view. Also, like, nobody's here. This is incredible. I came over to the popcorn cart that's right across from Rivers of America. See, it's right there. And okay, we've already seen this one. This has been out for a while, this popcorn bucket. I think the colors are so pretty, but okay, that one's fine and all. I actually like this one more. So this is Halloween themed and look, we have the Haunted Mansion and then we have our hitchhiking ghost. Isn't that fun? Look, there's like a spooky hand coming out from under there. And then we have Mickey in his pumpkin outfit and look, he has popcorn coming out of his popcorn bucket. And then we have Minnie right over here and Goofy. Honestly, this one is so cute. I would take this one home over this one like any day. This is the little Mike Wazowski bottle topper and it's so cute. I saw it available for purchase on mobile order but seeing it in real life makes it much cuter, I think. I mean, I like that it has like fall leaves around the base but then also he lights up and I didn't realize that but one of the cast members told me and I don't know, I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> getting one last treat. I was not expecting to get one more thing, but here we are. So I was over at the Frontierland Churro Cart and they have a Halloween specialty and it is a spicy chocolate churro and this is actually delicious. I mean, I say actually as if I'm surprised. Of course it's delicious. It definitely is chocolatey and cinnamony, but it's not spicy like at all. Where the spice is, is this sauce and I have it in a napkin because this thing is the stickiest thing in the world. And it's just a little bit spicy. Like it's not 
very spicy. Like, if you didn't like spice, I think you could handle this. The spice is all up front in the sense that you get like a teensy little kick and then it dissipates and then it's just like very chocolatey and very delicious. So overall, these are very good together and I would definitely recommend it, even if you are like spice adverse, unless you're like intensely spice adverse and then I don't recommend it because you'll still be like, oh, it's too much. <laughs> but yeah, this is delicious and I think this is definitely gonna be the very, very last treat of the day. It's, it's been a long day of treats. <laughs> I just came inside of the Emporium for some AC and it's very welcome right now. It feels absolutely glorious. But look at this mug that I just found. It's a Haunted Mansion mug and it's an urn. Isn't this fantastic? And it's a nice hunter green and the glaze is, it's not like very shiny. It's like semi-matte, it's like kind of satiny. It's $25. This is very fun for, you know, if you're an intense Haunted Mansion fan like I am myself, although I would kind of not want it to be in green. Is that being picky? I don't know, but I still like it very much. I have a total soft spot for Star Wars merch, so whenever I see it, I get very excited. And this definitely excites me because I also love Loungefly backpacks. The only thing is that I swear this is not new. Like, this is not something that has just arrived. This is maybe a couple years old. I. I swear, and the reason why is because this holographic trim is so familiar. And also the chibi style print. This I slightly remember too. I mean, I'd be willing to bet money on this that it's not new, but it's still very, very cute. The holographic trim definitely makes it stand out. And look at the little chibi characters. We have Luke right there, and we have C-3PO with a little R2-D2. He's peeking out underneath the plaque. That is very cute placement. This bag is $75, and another reason why I think it's old is because I checked the lining and it's pure black, which is something that Loungefly hasn't really done for a long time. That or the stripes, those are like super OG bags, so I think they just happen to stock a bunch of old Star Wars bags, but I'm not mad about it because like I said, I love Star Wars merch. Here at the Emporium, they only have one of these Mickey candy bowls out, and I haven't really seen them around, so I feel like they are in fact selling out, and I did want one. But the only thing is that I'm second guessing myself because I don't know if I love his little outfit. I am really, really having second thoughts, but you know, with Disney merch, you always get FOMO and then it sells out and then you truly have FOMO. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm genuinely just walking through the stores to get air conditioning and I've seen this bucket hat before and I really love the little playful font and everything, but you know how sometimes they'll have Mickey ears on the bucket hats? I was just thinking how silly and fun would it be if this had very small little Grogu ears. Not too big, you know, you don't want them poking a foot away off of your head, but how cute would it be if maybe they were tiny? Maybe? Maybe? It's now obviously very many hours later because, well, you know, the sun is gone and all that stuff. But look at how beautiful Main Street looks with the beautiful Mickey pumpkin. He's so grand and majestic and very festive. And look at all the lights, aren't they so pretty? I'm just a little bit sad. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. I should have gone back to check out the Halloween tree with all of its lights on. Darn it, okay. Mm, I would go now, but I, I wanna go to Downtown Disney, so we'll do that instead, but we'll make sure to check it out next time. <laughs> Well, I meant to go to Downtown Disney and I was walking through it. I actually wanted to go to Sephora because Patrick Starr and his makeup line, he did a Disney collaboration for like Fantasia and stuff like that. And I wanted to see it up close, but I, it was really crowded and I just, you know, I walked past it. But now I'm at the Disneyland Hotel and it is so relaxed and chill here. And I'm going to get a little bit of food because yeah, today is all about the food, but I wanted to get a little dinner before I went home. You can see fireworks very, very faintly behind the trees. Oh, and also that Disneyland, that's just a reflection. There's actually glass. There. Now you can kind of see them a little bit better, but not really all that much better. <laughs> Can you hear them? They're so loud. It's like when you see them from a galaxy's edge, it's such a loud sound and you don't get the music aspect to it, which is kind of a bummer, but ooh, you can kind of hear the hotel music. <laughs> wow, I am such a nerd, but uh, yeah. Oh wait, I just turned the camera on a little bit too late. They just had the finale. <laughs> 
The fireworks ended and now they have a band playing at the downtown Disney stage and I can definitely hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not, or maybe just a little bit. But yeah, I can definitely hear it. They're very lively. <laughs> oh, and I didn't show you any of the food that I got at Tangaroa Terrace. I didn't like turn my camera on. Well, okay, I did take a video just to like quickly show what it was, but I tend to get the same. Okay, I love all the food over there, but I tend to get the same two things. Like I get two kids meals to make one adult meal. Yes, I have the like, you know, the taste palette of like a child, <laughs> but I get the chicken teriyaki bowl and then I also get the chicken tenders. So it's nice to get a little variety, you know what I mean? But I'm so sorry I didn't show like any of it, but just know it was delicious and the ambiance over there cannot be beat. There's like the tiki torches, the music, you get a poolside view. It's all so good. I love it over there. But yes, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I had an amazing day. I love that we got to try so much food and I'm trying to think what was my favorite thing? Okay, the coffee, first of all, was incredible. I will definitely be getting that again. And then what else? Oh, you know what? Everything we got at the Golden Horseshoe. So the fries and that Sunday. A plus, so tasty. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I had such a fun time, so I hope you had fun too. But yes, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.